A new version of the simulation is out, 0.6.2. This update is not as flashy as some others, but aside from bug fixings and polishing, there's many very nice features. But first, if you didn't know, and that may be my fault as I'm not very active on socials, but the project recently passed many significant milestones. First of all, the channel finally passed 100,000 subscribers. And I can finally die happy knowing that every childhood bullies I've ever had are now rolling in their graves and jealousy. Additionally, we've been invited to and will present a talk at the upcoming Artificial Life Scientific Conference in Kyoto, Japan this October. We've been invited every year since my last presence in 2020, but I figured it was finally time to return and share the amazing amount of progress we've made since. We've also had a very successful launch on Steam, garnering 97% of positive reviews since launch. It's crazy. This additional stream of revenues will allow us to start pushing the project further. If you want to support the project, it's an amazing way of doing so. You save the hassle of having to re-download the project from itch.io every update and help finance the project for everyone else who can't. The perfect scientific model. Like I keep repeating, access to science is one of my strongest values, so it's important for me to give the same features and access to this project, whether you're rich or poor, young or old, or mean or nice. The only exception to this is obviously the Steam Workshop, which will allow you to share your bibits, scenarios, saves, and challenges with the rest of the community very easily. And for your targets, it's as easy as opening the Steam Workshop, subscribing to the interesting stuff, and it automatically being added and available in their game the next time it's opened. Aside from this, there's quite a few additions and changes, so go read the devlog on Steam or itch.io to see the whole list and download this new version. In parallel, we've started working on the next iteration of the project, a completely new evolutionary algorithm fueled by all of the things I learned about evolution, digital biology, and artificial life since I started developing the Bibbits. And all of that written under the new Unity Dots programming framework, multi-threaded by default. Both together, this should allow a revolution in possibilities, dynamics, scale, and performances. We even have a new collaborator helping us out and guiding us on this journey, Alejo, a fellow game dev who, together with a bunch of friends, recently launched a game using Dots. Annihilate Dispense is a base builder RTS of epic scale. If that's the type of game that you think would interest you, the link to their Steam page is in the description. Still, even with this amazing help, rewriting the whole simulation under that new framework will take a long time, but should be extremely worth it. In the meantime, we still want to provide updates to the current branch of the project, so expect releases every 3 to 4 months with features that you all voted on. In the last video, we opened applications from the community for help with video editing or other stuff. And so many of you reached out. The number of applications was a bit overwhelming to be honest. So we're sorry to anyone we didn't respond to or didn't meet. But we're currently collaborating with and trying out a few people for different roles. We'll keep you all updated. And finally, to help you all stay entertained, until next time, we have an announcement. Two years ago, we ran a tournament to find the ultimate artificial life form. And after many rounds, Luscus X Hybridus won in a back and forth battle against the runner up, Newbie. With our recent launch on Steam, and so much changing over the last two years, and the incessant choir of the community asking, when next? we figured it was about time to answer with a resounding now. We know you want to see carnage, competition, and a brutal fight to the last bit that's standing. So we are doing things a little bit different this time. What absolutely no one has been asking for, a Bibbit Battle Royale. Yep, 
we finally joined the hype train from uh, 2018 and added the Battle Royale mode to the Bivots. We hope this not at all dead genre will raise participation and increase the video's virality. You can submit your own Bibbit for this new tournament. The links are in the description, but first, a bit about the map. Instead of the characteristic Battle Royale wall, we have something a bit more in theme. A deadly algae bloom called the Red Death will creep in from the shade and slowly force Bibbits toward the center, where they won't have any choice but to compete. The map is also much more diverse this time, with four different biomes offering unique conditions to support all your diverse Bibbit species. The jungle hosts a variety of plant pellets, boasting large central plants surrounded by a lush range of smaller pellets, ideal for a whole host of hungry herbivores. The grasslands has many small plant pellets, favoring grazers that roam the land. The desert is a wasteland with old carcasses dotting the landscape. But looks can be deceiving, as within hides bountiful oases. And finally the swamp has rings of plants that spawn on the edge of several ponds where decaying meat collects, providing a unique opportunity for carnivores and scavengers alike. The red that bloom is toxic to bibbits, and the longer they stay in, the faster their health will deplete. The red algae will also consume any pellets it touches, rapidly making the areas they creep into unlivable. Bibbits will be able to detect the red algae from the red pheromones they emit, which bibbits won't be able to produce themselves for this tournament. This means that Bibbits will be able to sense the red algae bloom and respond accordingly with their own unique strategies. For your submission, just like in any battle royale, you'll have to decide the area where you want to spawn your Bibbit. Since we're expecting a large number of submissions, just like last time, we're aiming to have a selection round for each biome. Each has a limited number of slots proportional to the biome's available biomass. With the jungle as an example, 10 competing slots are open for the Battle Royale. So we'll run a free-for-all selection round with only the jungle biome and the red algae bloom staying in the periphery, populated by 5 individuals of every jungle submission. We'll let the sim play out until there's only 10 species left and those will be the 10 submissions that make it to the full and final battle royale. And so on with the 3 other biomes. In total, there's gonna be 10 slots for the jungle, 6 for the swamps, 5 for the grasslands, and 3 for the desert. Plus one additional secret redemption slot that will be revealed when the tournament is run. We'll only accept one submission per individual, and it can only compete in one biome, so you have a difficult choice on your plate. In what biome do you think the competition will be the fiercest? Will your bibbit vie for dominance in the diverse jungle, or settle in for the long haul in the barren desert? After the selection rounds, five of each finalists will be spawned in their biomes of choice within the full map and will give them plenty of time to settle before the red dead bloom starts creeping in and forcing them toward the center. What's exciting this time around is the potential for diver strategies. Maybe the winner will be sharks that attack everything in their path, or an armored whale built to last, or maybe even scavengers waiting patiently at the edge of the red algae for everyone else to starve, we're setting no restriction on editing, so we're accepting both evolved and engineered bibbits. I can't wait to see what you'll all submit. However, quite an important side note, we decided that size does matter, and we will restrict submissions by size at maturity. 
On the smaller end, they need to be at least 20 units squared at maturity. Any smaller and they could multiply so rapidly that our poor computers wouldn't be able to handle it. For the giants, they need to be under 10,000 units squared at maturity. Else, one could easily engineer a bibit so large that the entire simulation fits within their eyes. You can easily check their maturity size and the bibit editor here or in the biology panel when in-game. Of course, it wouldn't be a contest without a proper prize, so the winner of this battle royale deserves something very special. As such, I will personally crochet a bibit plushie of the winning submission, so make sure to add your contact email when submitting your contestant, just in case you win. I can't guarantee it's gonna be a good-looking plushie, I'll have to improvise a lot to make it, but at least I've been practicing quite a bit in the last few months, so I hope it'll be something decent. Of course, you'll also have your Bibbit added to the official Bibbit's roster, as well as lots and lots of rigging rights, obviously. Sounds exciting? Click the link in the description to find everything you need to know about the tournament. There you'll also find all the simulation files to properly evolve or test your bibbits. For the people who purchased the game on Steam, we've also added the 5 simulation worlds to the Steam Workshop, so you can add them to your game easily and without assholes, with the links again in the description. Make sure to update your game to the newly released 0.6.2 version, either through Steam or on itch.io, to have all the features and to make sure to work on your Bibbit in the correct environment. Submissions are due one month from today. We can't wait to see all the clever ideas and unique strategies your Bibbits use to try and be crowned the next ultimate artificial life form. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.